In this fast-paced, ever-changing world. I could not imagine Jewett without seeing Miss Robinson walk down the hallway with her cart. There are two constants at Jewett Elementary. I don't know what I'll do without my cart. Mary Robinson gliding through school. I've had it for so long, I cannot live without my cart. <laughs> and Mary leading math lessons. How many dots you see here? Two. Two. In kindergarten. The first thing we are going to do today, we are going to count by tens to 100. Everybody. The teacher's aid is as dependable as ABC and one, two, three. Beautiful. I like the way you did that. Miss Mary began working for Louisa County Public Schools in 1971. Don't get quiet on me. Let's do it again. A career adding up to 52 years and counting. How many you see here? And that makes what? Good job. But just a few doors down. Who else wanted to count? Anybody else, Fanny? In the other kindergarten class. This is an eight. You got to make it that size. Another teacher's aide holds the title of senior staff member. I work five days a week. <laughs> and very seldom I ever take a day off. <laughs> Miss Priscilla Slaughter started her career in the school system. All right. I'm coming over now. now. One year before, six to five, a little bit better. Her sister Mary. I get a lot of energy. I look forward to it every day. Come here, go over there to that line. The siblings wear many hats at Jewett, from aide and hall monitor to lunch mother and grandmother. Let's see here. Take it this away. Whoops, Lordy. Exhausting responsibilities for the 74-year-old Mary and 75-year-old Priscilla. I have worked with over 10,400 students. But the sisters couldn't dream of working anywhere else. Very exciting every day. I look forward to it every day. As the students celebrate 100 days of learning on this Friday. Come on, everybody, come on with your trays. Miss Slaughter's and Miss Robinson's combined tenure equals 105 years. Very special because I figured that this is a joy we both can get out of life together. I feel like we just need more people like them that are dedicated, caring, and other people's cheerleader. Fellow teachers like Susan Anderson marvel at their colleagues' stamina and selflessness. We're so thankful at this point that they have chosen to keep on going, and I think it's making them younger and younger all this time. That's me right there. The sisters share more than just a love of teaching children and longevity in Louisa. And these kids here was all of my special ed kids, but they all got along very well. Mary and Priscilla grew up on a farm not far from Jewett during a much different era. This is me, which is Silk, and that's Putin, which is her. And this is our baby sister right there. Both remember a chapter when classrooms were separated by color. When I went to school, I went to all black school. I didn't, I was not integrated. It's a hard lesson the sisters share with their students. It was something that we wasn't used to, so it really didn't bother us. Now, you take the kids nowadays and you tell them the story, they just look at you, how, you know, they can't believe it. These two special ladies are role models for every single one of us. Uh, their passion, their grit, their love for this community. School Superintendent Doug Straley says Priscilla and Mary set high standards for students and staff alike. That's incredible, and it's hard to put words to how incredible that really is when you think about the lives they've touched. This is years of service. No sibling rivalry exists between Mary and Priscilla to see who will work the longest. When they say it takes a village to raise a child, it definitely does. Teacher Tanya Olinger believes her school is richer with Mary and Priscilla in attendance. We see them here day in, day out, greeting everyone, smiling at everyone. And uh, the day that they're not walking those halls, it, will be, it won't be the same. It makes me feel great that they still think that much of me. That's a good feeling. At Jewett Elementary School, some things remain constant. Call it in. The three R's, two sisters, and one lucky student body. We couldn't function without them. There'd be no, there'd be no Jew it without them. Bye. Have a good weekend, okay? See you Monday.